Hello everyone. In this class, I will show you the desktop effect function on the CrowPanel Advanced HMI display. The desktop effect is divided into six interfaces in total, namely the time interface, the weather interface, the music player interface, the alarm clock interface, the timer interface, and the smart home interface. First of all, let's see how our colleagues make the most of this function we designed. In the video, Eli is the protagonist of this video. When Eli arrives at the company in the morning, he can see the advanced desktop effect on the screen. After sitting down, he sets an alarm for lunchtime and then starts his R&D work for the day. When he feels a bit tired from work, he switches the screen to the music interface and plays his favorite music to relax his mind. He can switch songs at any time. After that, he waits for the lunch break alarm to ring, which reminds him that it's time to get off work, take a break, and go for a meal. Me, you can turn off the alarm actively, or it will automatically turn off 10 seconds after it rings. Of course, you can set the duration of the alarm in the code by yourself, and I will explain it to you later. Because she was indoors and couldn't see the weather outside, it was raining when she came to work in the morning. Before leaving, Eli could also check the weather conditions on the weather interface. When it comes to the afternoon work, in order to detect the power consumption of a new product, Eli switches to the timer interface. After connecting the new product to the battery, he turns on the timer to start working and observes the power consumption of the new product. As time goes by, the battery runs out of power, and then he stops and clears the timer. Finally, when Eli is ready to leave work, he shuts down the computer. After checking the weather interface, he finds that it's cloudy, so he puts away his umbrella. Subsequently, by simply clicking the turn off the lights option in the smart home interface, he can remotely control the office lights to turn off. Regarding the last smart home interface, Advance can achieve the function of remotely controlling the on and off of the lights. You can adjust the hardware and modify the code to achieve the control effect in your own home. Moreover, based on our advanced product, we can also control the hardware on another motherboard by adjusting the code. For example, we can turn on the lights on another board. In short, our advanced product is highly flexible. You can add your own ideas based on our design to create your very own version of advanced. Our advanced desktop effect offers a rich variety of size options. From the magnificent and broad view 7.0 to the moderately sized 5.0 and 4.3 that balance both visual experience and portability, whether it's for efficiently handling multiple tasks in an office scenario or for a relaxed browsing during daily leisure, it can be handled with ease. Moving on to the small and delicate 3.5, 2.8, and 2.4, with their lightweight bodies, they are perfectly suitable for various small devices. Each of these six sizes has its own unique charm, and you can definitely find the one that best meets your own needs among the size choices of the advanced desktop effect. Isn't this effect really great? Next, I'll tell you how to burn the code. Here, I'll take the 7.0 size as an example. First, use the Arduino IDE to open the code we provided. Click on the board manager, search for ESP32, and download version 3.0.2 that we need for this time. Note that the LVGL library we use here is the latest version 9.2.2. Wait until the SP32 is downloaded, and then follow me to open a similar path. Since the code of the desktop effect has a relatively large capacity, we need to modify the size of the partition table so that the code can be successfully burned. First, open the huge app.cv file in the partitions folder and replace it with the size of the partition table we have prepared. The size of this partition table is 14 MB. Then, open the board's point text file, search for SP32 3, find huge app, and modify the correct size represented by its partition table. Operate according to the above steps and the corresponding modification will be completed. At this time, remember to close all the currently opened Arduino IDE programs to prepare for the subsequent correct operations. After closing the program, reopen the Arduino IDE. In the opened interface, carefully select the correct burning environment. 
you can refer to the specific options demonstrated in my video to ensure that the selection is correct. After selecting the burning environment, you can proceed with the operation of uploading the code. After uploading the code, patiently wait for a while. Once the program is successfully burned and running, you can freely use the desktop effect introduced by us and experience the convenience and fun it brings. That's all for this lesson. If you have any needs, feel free to contact us. See you in the next lesson.